Let's just try to resist the urge to add any more detail, shall we? Let's just try to resist the urge to add any more detail. <laughs> it's very hard to uh, resist urge, ain't it? You just see more and more spots where it's like, ooh, it just don't look quite right. No, what about if I do this? What about if I do that? And then it would look nicer. And then I gotta do this, and I gotta do that. It's like, oh my god, it never ends. It never ends! Hello everyone, my name is Dark Rabbanik, and welcome back to Space Engineers, the game about engineering in space and force fields. Well, actually, technically speaking, there's not normally force fields, but there's mods, and mods make everything better in Space Engineers. So says I. <laughs> now, last time we left off, we we're working on this hangar of doom. Doom! Now, I did mention about... Oh, I... Why does she always do that? I did mention about building automatic drones for building and stuff like that, but I deliberately didn't go and build the automatic drone before this episode because the simple fact is I want to get this hangar done and it could, considering how long this small amount of time did already, like this small area did, I figured that, you know, it's probably going to take this episode just to finish in here. And if not, I'm sure I can figure something else to do. <laughs> but basically, yeah, it's like... I could have gone into creative mode and made the automatic drone. I probably should have, but I'm like, wait, what, 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 why? Oh, here we go. I'm like, you know what? If I wait till this hang is done, I can copy this, paste it into another world, and build it inside this hangar. So that way I can actually test it out in this very specific hangar to make sure it fits perfectly and magically with this hangar. Does that make any sense? I think it makes perfect sense. <laughs> No, she finally stopped that puffing and panting. Far out. She really goes at it for ages, doesn't she? Uh, so, if we're going to be doing this hangar, we need to get these windows extended out. Wait, um, okay, it's all flat roof from here, huh? So that's boop, 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 okay. Uh, and then we go six, 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 get back in, six, yes, oh wow, I can't see. So, uh, no, no, and uh, there, and there, okay, that is the roof area, it looks perfectly fine like that, right? Doesn't look too out of place, right? I like to think it looks correct. I don't know if it looks correct, but I like to think it looks correct. Now, maybe I could have it match the other side a tiny, teensy, winty little bit. So, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, we'll put this here. And then, wait, and then we will go put, um, is, yeah, right there. Because that's how it looks on the other side. Wait, nope, 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 nope. And it actually looks all right on the other side, it does. I want it to look awesome all the time, not just half the time. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. That's correct, that's correct. No, that's not correct. That's correct, that's correct, and that's correct, okay. Yes, oh, wait, doesn't, doesn't seem quite right nah. interesting very interesting this is because of there hmm how we solve this dilemma very interesting uh, should I add some blocks in here and Change the windows? Hmm. It is a possibility. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, the best option. What about if I change how that's shaped? It doesn't need to be a square. Windows still work with 
angles. Wait, um, is that? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, I didn't see that. Okay, um. So that is right here. Boop, boop, and boop, boop. Okay. So all still is angles. Maybe I could go. Hmm. <laughs> what about if I was to just go put one of these in? Boop, 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 boop. Wait, what? That would look weird. And come on. There. So if that's how it will go there, that doesn't look half bad, does it? That would go like so and like so. Yes. Boop. Boop. And over here too. Boop. Boop. And poop. Okay, that leaves me one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've somehow got to fill a uh, four by two slot. I'm pretty sure there's no four by two windows. Windows? It'd be nice if there was like a two by two, but I'm pretty sure they don't exist either. I have to do this one by twos. Uh, that there. We'll just quickly take another look to, to make sure. And, uh... Nope, I was correct, Mundo. Okay. It looks pretty cool, though. It looks very cool. So this will go... Um... Yeah. Wait, wrong one. Yes, it goes like that. One, two, three, four. And... One, two, three, four. Okay. Perfect fit. <laughs> well, of course it's perfect because they're much smaller than I would have liked, but oh well. That works too, you know. Not perfect, but it works. Okay. Yes, that looks much better now. Wait, does it? I, I think it does. Although for some strange reason I feel kind of... Lopsided. I don't know why. Um, what is causing this lopsided feeling? Um, is it this? I just noticed this isn't in here. Uh, could that be causing the lopsided feeling? Yeah, look fine. Maybe I'm just imagining things, you know? I must be imagining things. The only explanation. I've, I'm thinking maybe we have a two by three windows here, so... Windows. So we can change down there. Windows are two by three, but three by twos and stuff like that and ta-da! Okay, how wide is this down here? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, so if I'm going to do this, it's going to have to be like that. Right. Wait, wait, that's actually three tall? Oh, cool, that makes it much easier. I thought it was two tall. Windows. And we'll put that there. Oh, wait, do I have enough? No, I don't have enough girders. Now we go grab what be here. And, uh... Uh... Ha! Huh. I was going to put the windows down, but there is one slight problem. The windows will have to go on, like, a sort of lip. Where if they even go in here, but then I'd have to change the window to that one. 
or they go on the outside and then things will be looking a little flat and I'm not entirely sure which one I prefer. Maybe for now I'll put the windows on the inside first because that would give me a bit more room to figure out how I'm going to do the outside afterwards. Okay, with that done. No, maybe I go like a... Uh, instead of putting windows in there, I go something like, put this here, that there, and then uh, that there. Of course, I'd have to replace that with uh, that. But does look interesting, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay. And we put that there. And then we go put this here, here, and then finally. And there. Okay. Nice big open wind. Whoa, those, those blue lines. Psychedelic. <laughs> really psychedelic. Okay. Here in here. And we'll, uh, I gotta make sure the force fields are closed. Okay. Open. Closed. Yay. Those doors are definitely closed. Now, this room isn't sealed yet. As I've got here. But it is one step closer to being sealed. Uh, of course, that does leave me with questions. And now I'm going to do a couple of things. For example, I don't think I want these blocks sticking out like this. But I don't think I want them flat like this either. I think I want some sort of lip. But I'm not sure what sort of lip do I want yet. The same goes for here. Maybe, maybe I could do something like a, like a, mm, that, that, mm, no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, something like, uh, uh, oh, oh, um, uh, two out like that. Uh, is that really, oh, um, maybe I'd rather like, well, eh. Uh, that there. No, wait, wait, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Put that there. There. And then finally. Uh, there. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. That's what I was thinking the look I was thinking of. We put these out. After I, you know, cut all these off already. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be something like two there, two there, but maybe not two there. I don't want the corner to be so sharp. Don't normally do such wide corners, you know what I mean? I'm not used to making them. I'm not entirely sure if I'm doing this right, but hey. Uh. Don't put that there, there, there. Uh, do 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 do. Don't put that there, there, and there. And I completely fucked it up. Good one. <laughs> okay. It's nice to know that I'm absolutely terrible at this. <laughs> okay, that should work better. 
six. And we put that there. There. There, bit. Get, get in there. There and there. Okay, that is better. It's a bit on the short side compared to say over here, but it works, you know. It's all that matters. Okay, so we're going to need to go put some over here. That is. Boop doop 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 boop scooby dooby doo. Where are you? He's certainly not in space where he'll suffocate. <gasps> there, okay. It's a nice round smooth edge. Looks much nicer than you know just having some weird lippy area. You know the roof needs to be something like Hmm Something like Maybe. Me and my incessant need to make everything look fancy schmancy and not not just a square box. Like why? Why can I not just make everything a square box? Why do I have to make everything fancy schmancy? Is that how I want it to look? Hmm. If I was to put that there, there, and then finally like that. Would that look correct? Maybe. Possibly. Might be too sharp? It might be too sharp. Maybe if I go like that that put that there and then uh, then there and put that there oh that looks much better not as sharp as it was before gives it this nice smooth look to it Smooth like a baby's bottom. I don't know why that saying exists. It sounds like a very strange and creepy saying. You know what I mean? Like, why are people uh, so uh, interested in how smooth a baby's bottoms are? Very strange. Why can't it be like, smooth like an egg? Eggs are smooth. Or uh, smooth like a uh, silk. Wait, no, we already got smooth like silk. Uh... What other smooth things are there? They're smooth like a... Like a criminal! Like a smooth criminal! Dun 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 <laughs> Yeah, why can't that be a saying? <laughs> and... There, okay. That... Look... Nice. That looks very nice. Okay. And we put that there, there, there. That. There, there, there. Okay. I don't know if I need anything on the sides here. Oh, actually, maybe. Uh. Hmm. There. There. And then... Like that? Yeah, that's okay. Do that again, over here. Wait, come, come off. Okay. Put that there, and... There, and... There and there. Okay, 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 okay. That looks nice, dude. That looks very nice. So very fancy. Oh my god, I can't help myself. Uh, no, 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 anything about that button. 
Can't help but always add more detail. More detail! Okay, that that looks nice. Let's just try to resist the urge to add any more detail, shall we? Let's just try to resist the urge to add any more detail. <laughs> it's very hard to uh, resist urge, ain't it? You just see more and more spots where it's like, ooh, it just don't look quite right. No, what about if I do this? What about if I do that? And then it would look nicer. And then I got to do this, and I got to do that. It's like, oh my god, it never ends. It never ends! <laughs> okay. I'm sure that's enough, right? Yeah, that's definitely enough. <laughs> it's got to be enough. Oh, actually, that looks really nice. Doesn't look too out of place now. It doesn't look too blocky. We can add all those uh, edges to it, you know, those unnecessary edges. Just gets it feeling a little less blocky and a little more natural for a, you know, giant metal structure. Okay. Now, what should go here? A 2 by 3 window or something else? Curious or incurious, huh? Energy low. Uh oh. Just go uh, deal with that, shall we? Okay, so what shall go here? It shall be interesting. Uh, like I could just throw a window there, but from here it doesn't seem right to just throw in a window there. Hmm. What about, say, if I was to go do something like... Uh... That and that, then, that and that, would that make a nice window there? Hmm. We'll put these here because it didn't look quite right from the inside. Would that make a nice window? No, it wouldn't, would it? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> hmm. I don't know what to do here. Curious, I don't see a solution for this. Maybe the best solution is just throwing in a big window. You know what I mean? That does feel like the most logical solution, actually. Uh, windows, two by three, put this, there, this, there. It gives it this more homey feel to it, doesn't it? Uh... Now that's built, is this airtight? Well, what do you know it is? I can actually have oxygen in here now. Holy crap. When was the last time I had oxygen in here? How weird. Okay. That's nice. It's a bit slow, but oh well. Depressurize it again. Because, well, I need to put something like that in the middle of the floor. Hmm. Uh, ch -ch -ch. where would be the best places to put one of those? Air vent takes a little while, doesn't it? It is a rather large room, though. So it's to be expected. Is my helmet still off? Yeah, my helmet's still off. Okay. So, right in the middle, yeah, obvious. Maybe here and there. Hmm. Like, do I want one or two? Oh, no, screw it. Let's just go with this. There. There. Oh, I'm gonna need some interior plates and stuff. 
Okay, so right here, going to be Mr. Connector. Greetings, Mr. Connector. We meet again. Mr. Connectorson. <laughs> uh, there. Okay. What that? And then go and put it in here. There, and there. Tube this up. Yeah, now grinding on. Hot grinding action. Um, should we shouldn't I? Wait, what? Why is that not piped up there? Just in case this thing decides to fall off, let's just uh put this here just in case because I don't want to have this section fall off just because I didn't think of reinforcing it before I cut something I should have. That'd be a horrifying thought of this all coming apart just because I got lazy. Uh, there. Okay. So... That there, and boop, and boop, and do 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 There! Nice. Nice. Okay. Now we've got other problems to deal with. Things like underneath ain't looking too right. We don't want a very thin membrane on the bottom, I kind of want a little more. Maybe I could do something like, uh, something like, okay, we go grab this. Wait, no, that's not what I, there, there, and there. Okay, what do we got now? Okay, that looks pretty fancy schmancy. Much better than some giant slab of metal. Hmm. Do I want to change this? I mean, I feel like I should. Hmm. At the same time, I feel like it wouldn't look quite right if I change it much. Maybe if I just do something simple like that. That way it's still got a little bit of a lip. Like, it doesn't go in too much, you know what I mean? Okay. So there's a little bit of a lip, but it didn't look like it's just... dangly. Dingle dangly. Yes, that looks nice. Oh wow, that actually looks pretty cool with the uh, night control factory out like that. I mean, I know this is all upside down, but you know, space, everything is relative. And that actually looks really cool like that sitting on top of the hydrogen tank. Like some sort of nuclear power source or something like that sitting under it, that's what it looks like. Yeah, that actually looks really cool. I think I'm gonna take a photo of this because it looks awesome. It's not gonna be a thumbnail even though I'm taking in thumbnail spots, but hey. Nothing wrong with taking it in thumbnail spots because you never know if it might ever be used for a thumbnail. Okay, the raid is going, I might actually keep it there because it looks so cool. But I think this hangar might be done. Surprisingly enough. Oh, actually, I've got to do lighting still. Depressurize off. The giant hangar. It is really nice looking. Very fancy schmanchy. Very nice. Okay, what about something like that? How well will these go for lighting? Put that there. There. Because I noticed while editing last... Oh, actually, while doing much of anything last episode. That these lights are actually rather weak compared to their uh, normal lights. And I found that very odd. And there. Okay, that's got to work, right? It's got to work like that. So now, let's go turn the lights off. And I'll turn gravity on because, well, I don't think I need it turned off anymore. I wonder, does this extend all the eye out to the gravity field? It appears to be. Wait, no, no! 
I lost gravity at the end. <laughs> it would increase gravity by a slight amount. Gravity generator. I know, I know it probably isn't too refined, you know what I mean? Like, it's probably way larger in certain areas and way smaller in certain areas, but oh well. Like, it is what it is until I get my antennas going again and check the gravity field. Okay! I think I've got some half alright lighting in here. I mean, it's not perfect. It could be better, like some areas are shinier than others. But it's reasonable, you know what I mean? Not like really stupid dark anymore in here. It's actually rather usable levels of light. So that's cool, that's cool. This hangar, I think, might officially be complete. Okay, let's take a look around this hangar. This side looks actually really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah. Now outside here. I have no problem here. It looks also really nice. They don't look blocky or square or anything like that. It's a little plain up here, only a small amount plain, but that's mainly because I'm thinking of throwing solar panels and stuff down on here. That's afterwards, you know, when I, you know, I'm thinking of throwing black solar panels and stuff down. Right now it's just, you know, bare waiting for me to do other stuff with it. And I could probably throw, what, good four, four black solar panels on each side, right? It looks like how much I could fit on there. That'd be awesome. Yeah, well, that's a good total eight just here. <laughs> and then, you know, I mod the, I throw in a script to make sure the uh, space station constantly follows the sun in rotation. <laughs> Wouldn't that be stupid? <laughs> so yeah, 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 let's go build an auto miner drone. And uh, which probably works for, you know, stationary waypoints. <laughs> and then have the space station rotate automatically to follow the sun. What a great idea. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I think this space station is... What? 50% done? The reason I say 50... is because, you know, once the uh, drone is done... I am going to need more refineries and assemblers. And probably more power too. And turrets. But the refineries and assemblers and stuff like that, they could be pretty reasonable to put on. Like, I could probably throw them down here and make, uh, blend them down with all the items here. Yeah, I could probably do that. Actually, not too difficult. It would look really nice if I was to put them here. And yes, it looks really nice already, just like that. But throwing refineries down there, like, I don't know, to that side, to that side. And a few assemblers down the middle. That would also look nice. Once I get them up, I can find various uh, positions for some turrets and stuff like that. Just spam turrets all over the place. Get some decent reactors down somewhere. It'd be mobile battle station. A mobile battle fortress. <laughs> I could, uh, after that I'd probably throw in a few, uh, warp, warp drives and, uh, take it for a lift somewhere, you know? Maybe, uh, visit the moon. Maybe visit Mars. Maybe, you know, throw in, like, a, an easily connectable, uh, jetpack thruster section, you know, through, uh, connectors, you know? Like, have, uh, like a sort of giant thruster package just connected to it through, uh, you know, connectors, uh, so that way I can, you know, fly it around, explore this place. A mobile death station, that's what I need. <laughs> Everything will die at my awesome might. <laughs> I will rule this galaxy with an iron fist. <laughs> I am so weird at times. But yeah, this space station is actually looking pretty cool. I... Sometimes I feel like I'm cheating because no night control factories just, you know, make things build way too easy. Like, it's kind of almost like creative mode, but at the same time, you do have to work for the resources and stuff like that. You gotta go drill resources up. You gotta go, you know, produce things, gotta store things, you gotta decide where things are going. And when you're on your own, welding everything can be unnecessarily slow. 
The Nanite Control Factory can save you so many hours of hard, difficult, slave labory work. Ah. <sighs> yeah, it's like, sometimes I feel like I cheated because, you know, this was actually surprisingly stupidly easy to get up to this level. And you guys saw how smashed this station was. I mean, even my uh, last space station, you know, in my, what well, it'd be technically speaking, but not, you know, my last space station, you know, which was what, three to six months ago before, you know, I had to spend all that time on planet. That was actually a really nice space station. And that was thanks to the help of Nanite Control Factory. It really is a lifesaver if you're on your own. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's so important to me. I must marry it. <laughs> I think this episode is over though guys, it's uh, like I said, tons of fun building space stations and stuff like that. Next episode should be, well, hopefully I've gotten off my lazy ass and built that uh, auto drone in creative mode. The reason why I want to do it in creative mode to figure it out is just, so that way I know I have a stable working design, one that's not going to self destruct. Then you know I can just blueprint it and bring it into here and tell it to work with the uh, I, I suddenly can't remember the name of the, uh... <laughs> projector block! That's right! Every time I was thinking projector block, my mind was saying blueprint. It's like, why? Why would you think blueprint? It's a projector block! <laughs> yes, throw it in the projector block, let the nanite control factory do its work, and then hopefully we'll have an auto miner drone to get the resources needed. And then, we can start exploring the universe. And then picking fights with robots. I think, I think once I've got resources coming in, I might actually build myself a fighter craft. And then I'm going to have a load of fun picking fights with everyone. That is going to be awesome. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed this episode, well, you know what to do. You hit that like and subscribe button or share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Bye! Yes, that looks nice. Oh, wow, that actually looks pretty cool with the uh, Nanite Control Factory out like that. And I know this is all upside down, but you know what? Space, everything is relative. And that actually looks really cool like that sitting on top of the hydrogen tank. Like some sort of nuclear power source or something like that sitting under it. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that actually looks really cool. I think I'm going to take a photo.